Uh, can I tell you some good news first? Today I went into the LA Central Juvenile Facility, the oldest in the United States. And they let me come in there this morning and do a little demonstration. And I got to tell them about Jesus. <laughs> Ain't no separation of church and state right there. Man, the state's going, come on, do whatever you do. Help these kids. And all them gang members sitting in there like, what are you going to talk about? And I do a little move. And they're like, okay, I'll listen. <laughs> and I shared Jesus, and I shared the cross with them. And how the cross is able to change anybody's life. And you know what? Hey. Check this out. 70% of those kids gave their life to Christ today. And two guards, two of the guards gave their life. So, hey, when the Holy Spirit hits, you just watch out. All right, so I'm gonna do a little martial arts stuff. I need a volunteer from the audience. I, I'm not good enough to just do it by myself. I'm old. I need, I need a teenager looking guy. How about you in the back? Of course. I know you. I'm going to have you hold this pistol to my head. Okay? And the kids love this in prison. I let them do that. They're like, I got you. I'm like, take it easy. Pull out my Nacho Libre. My stretchy fans. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> I'm going to do this right here. What I'm going to attempt to do is disarm him without getting shot. That's a good one. <laughs> so he puts it up to my head like that. Okay. Right, you, you look serious. <laughs> to do is knock these out of his hands <laughs> without hitting myself <laughs> so uh what's the should you where where should i do this how about how about come right here in the middle well i know how to an angle i don't want to hit him he'll jump up and smack me <laughs> he's famous okay all right i've seen him on the movies all right all right, the, here's the basic deal. I'm going to swing these and don't move, okay? <laughs> All right, would this be impressive? Okay, I saw it in a book. All right. <laughs> now, we're going to make it more interesting, okay? How about I do this and put that in his mouth? Okay, you ready for this? Here we go.
my goodness. Okay, you want me to do one more thing? Yeah. You got time for one? Can I do one more thing? All right. I need two chairs. This is the most dangerous thing I do, and I tell you, I don't try this at home. I don't try this anywhere. Yeah, can, can I have two chairs over there? Watermelon. This. All right. All right, buddy, come on. Place these right here. All right. Would you like some silence, sir? Yes. <laughs> this is one of the most dangerous things that you have to have incredible. <laughs> now people say, oh, you do a trick. You had a trick with that. There for the Marxists. I didn't want to hurt me, but I was still very, very empty growing up. And even through joining the Marine Corps and martial arts and all of that, I was empty. And it wasn't until June 22nd, 1986, when my biological dad, who had left me and never really claimed me, he came into my life and he told me that he had given his life to Jesus Christ. After all these years, he became a man to me. And then he was able to become a father. I went and I heard the good news about Jesus Christ, and I surrendered my life to the Lord on an evening just like this. I said, I need forgiveness of my sin and my anger and bitterness toward others. And God gave me the ability to forgive those who had hurt me. Isn't that a miracle? And you know what? God's been very good to me. The Christian walk has been hard, but life is hard. Amen? Yeah. And I'd much rather live it for the Lord than in the world and die and go to hell. But I'm standing here before y'all. I've been married to one woman, 22 years. And I was able to break the cycle that my family has. For three generations, no one's been able to stay married. I'm the only one that's married and not divorced. And my son Shiloh, he's one of five kids that I have. And I praise the Lord. God bless you guys. Thanks for the opportunity to be here this evening.
Let's hear it for Mr. Victor Marks. Incredible.